happy. All right, I need I, I need another uh, boy and girl, please. My sweet in the red. Come on up. My sweet in the red. Yeah, here we go. Stand up right, right here for me. Here we're gonna move this over because moments are happening. Okay, can we? Can I get you guys' names? This is turning into a very strange anime. Uh, can I get an adjective? That's right, ghostly is an adjective. A verb ending in ing. Ooh. 
painful, right? The verb. I like me. Yeah, there we go. I need another verb, quick. Now? Oh, this is getting weird. Can I get a verb? Party. Yep. Um, body part. Arm. No. Torso. Humerus. I spelled coccyx. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to see how you spelled it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Weird is hard to spell the classics. I need another anime character. I got Goku. Can I get a verb? Adjective. Describe something for me. Orange. I need another adjective. I heard ugly and I need one more. A verb? Uh, something you do. Cook. Verb? Jump. A noun. <laughs> you made me so happy. Another verb. What was that? Dance. Y'all are saying other stuff, I'm just going to take it. <laughs> Don't tell anybody I did that. <laughs> That's gross. I took it anyway. Alright, I need a noun. <laughs> Never apologize for your intelligence. I still took towel though, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, this is the one. 
It's okay. Technical difficulties. It wouldn't be anime without technical difficulties. Trust me. Yes. This one is not the one you want. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, he's coarse. My bushes aren't my own. <laughs> it's a onesie I wear that I borrowed from Naruto to be a dog. Back then I was totally ghostly inside. Everyone was ghosting. There was nothing I could do to eat them. <laughs> I tried to slap myself that people can't live without other feet. <laughs> Otherwise I could never afford it. <laughs> That's why. That's why I had so much admiration for Kuditsuku's cockics. Cockics. <laughs> Is that so wrong? Are my feelings weird because I got them from Goku? <laughs> and if so, does that mean I shouldn't even hit? No, there's no way that's orange. It doesn't, ma it doesn't matter if it's ugly or sleazy to cook. I know I can't jump lettuce. And that you can't dance with one person without pooping another. <laughs> and even though I knew it was just a towel, I swung for it more and every more and every day. Even if I had to shake some dirt, many I'd keep reaching for a sword where no one ever had to get shower again. So I started writing for myself for that. I started writing scenes and scenarios for myself and then actually for other friends of mine who needed their stuff because I found that I was enjoying it. And honestly, I was a huge nerd and I enjoyed reading books and stuff and, and uh, I already wrote for, for fun, for you know a hobby and things. And then I got into voiceover, um, which is great and I really enjoyed it, but sometimes you know it can be an up and down sort of deal because if you're a freelance, you know, depending on what show it is and what characters you got, sometimes you're hired and fired for the same day because you're, you're done. You said all the lines that this character will say, and you're off the project now, goodbye. So it's not always really consistent. So I wanted another thing to supplement my income. And I had become really good friends with some of the people in the production office of uh, Bang Zoom. And they, they knew me, and they knew what kind of work I could, could do. And I had been writing for some other projects that were outside of anime for people who worked there. And they stuck up for me. And they needed more uh, writers anyway, so they did a curation and an internal kind of training program. And I got to join the training program, and after that, they started sending me stuff to write. Like, uh, the first thing that I wrote was, was a Lupin movie, which was really fun. Any other questions? What's up? I did. I played Ray. Yeah, the little angsty boy. <laughs> yeah, last year I spent a lot of time playing very angsty, 
angry little boy. <laughs> and now I kind of, I'm still doing that, but I, I, I've also moved on to sad and awkward little boys. But, you know, it, it, that, I guess, reflects who I am as a person. <laughs> Another question? Yes? I know this is a super basic question, but do you have a, a favorite role of the one you've done so far? Oh my god! <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's, that's so hard to do because um, you really, at least what I found for myself, I become really, really attracted, not attracted, attached, sorry, that's weird. Uh, <laughs> I become very attached to the roles that I play as I play them. Um, thank you. And I, uh, like, I, I love Ray very, very much, and uh, Iger from Beyblade is my very first lead, so he, he's near and dear to my heart. Right now, um, I'm uh, sort of just in the beginning of re recording, and, and it, you can catch some of it out on, uh, on Crunchyroll right now. It's Welcome to Demon School, Iromakun. Uh, that's my new, my second lead role uh, thus far. I mean, I, I count Ray as a lead, but he's the supporting lead. This one's about Iroma, and I play Iroma. And um, I'm loving him. I'm loving that show. It's hilarious. Some of the most some of the most funny people in the world are in that show with me, and it's hard to keep up, but I'm really, really enjoying myself. Like, Ray Chase is in there being the funniest person on the planet, and Billy Kometz is there, and he's hilarious, and, and Kaylee Mills is killing it. So I can't, I can't handle it. I'm really, really enjoying having, having a lot of fun on that show. Um, well, any other questions, darlings? Thoughts? Yes, Dan? What do you like to read? Hmm? What do you like to read? What do I like to read? I read a lot of um, sci-fi and fantasy books. My favorite series that nobody on the planet will have ever heard of is The Bulgariad by David Eddings. It's a bit older. Um, I love the Zan series by Pierce Anthony, uh, which is also way older. <laughs> um, those were, this game before my time. I, I kind of learned to love fantasy and sci-fi by pulling books off of my mom's shelf and my dad's shelf. When I was a kid, um, my dad would tell me not, like bedtime stories, but instead of getting like a book off the, tape, off the shelf or something, like for a kid's book or something, he would uh, summarize books that he was reading and he was a big ass nerd, so <laughs> I'd be like, you know, five years old, laying in bed, listening to, talk, talk, to him tell me about uh, blood packed knights who were uh, forever sworn to protect this princess who was locked in a tower because of this curse and, and like oaths and things like that. And I was like, yeah, I'm soaking that all up. So I've been I've been a nerd since the day I was born. But those are the kinds of things that I like to read. Uh, and and uh, what was it? I lost it. Oh. Golly, Ender's Game is my favorite uh, sci-fi book. And, oh, and uh, Ender's Shadow, actually. I, that one's my favorite favorite, because that's the same story, same timeline, but in the eyes of a different character. And uh, I love that perspective that you get when you can go through other people's points of view and stuff like that and, and learn things that maybe you didn't have before in the story. Once again, nerd. Any other questions? <laughs> yes, what's up? Oh, gosh. Um, because I'm twisted and sick, I love The Promised Neverland. Um, but, uh, <laughs> I mean, I haven't done that work. So I really enjoyed, um, my favorite anime because of my sentimentality would be uh, Totoro, because it was the first one I ever saw. Um, and I loved it forever, and it was, it's so sweet and cool and wonderful. I loved uh, uh, Cowboy Bebop when I was a kid. That one rocks. Uh, Death Note is fantastic. <laughs> Because just like simply because of the potato chip line, is that like evil? Is that wrong? That I love that anime specifically because of the potato chip line. I take this chip and I will eat it. Oh, okay, sorry. But <laughs> otherwise, chips. That one's my favorite. Any other thoughts, questions, anything like that? Yes, Dana. Uh -huh. uh, what do you write on your own? What do I write on my own? Well, I'm actually. Um, I'll, I'll write short stories every once in a while when I just kind of need to be creative for a second. Um, lately I've been kind of inundated with uh, Fate scripts because I'm, I'm working on Fate Babylonia at the moment. Um, but sometimes I need to get away from that one and tell the story of something else so that I can get my juices flowing on this again. So I'll write short stories and little blurbs and things like that. Um, I'm also working on a couple of different original projects. Uh, there's something I'm working on with Tony Oliver, trying to produce that. It's a live action show that's um, based around the world of circuits, which is really, really fun. And we've had a lot of fun trying to get that off of the ground, in a literal sense. <laughs> and that's been really great. I, uh, it's, it's really just 
what I try to be inspired by is what I'd like to see out there and things, you know, there, there's holes in media, I think, that need to be filled and there are questions that need to be answered and characters that need to be represented. And um, so I usually start any project, any original project, with a question of what if, what if this were that way? Or what if we knew more about these kinds of people? Or what if, um, you know, what if we can explore this type of relationship in some way? You know what I mean? So that's where I start when I'm, when I'm writing things on my own for myself, when there's time to breathe and do things that aren't, you know, contractually obligated. <laughs> What time are we at? How are we doing? Any other questions real quick? Are we out of time? Well guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me this way. Thank you guys for being here, thank you so much. Um, if you would like to hang out a little bit more, I will be over at the autographs table at three, between three and four. And then I'm gonna be joining the How to Audition panel this evening uh, with Tony Oliver at 8.15, is that what that is? Something like that. And then uh, there's gonna be the the voice actors karaoke at 10 o'clock, and I think I'm getting roped into that. <laughs> so if you want to watch me embarrass myself some more, come see those things. Um, in any case, if you catch me running around the halls or whatever, feel free to come over, say hi, give me a hug, we'll take a selfie, good things will happen. See ya, have fun with the rest of the con. Thank you again.